Hello and welcome to In Your Home Fitness. I am Brenda Lee and this is Fitness for the Everyday Person. Today I'm going to teach you how to properly foam roll your quadriceps, the front of your legs, and your psoas muscle here, which has a tendency to pull uh, at the front too when we tend to sit a lot or not very active. I'm going to give you a little bit of anatomy lesson on how the muscles are actually pulled. So usually if a muscle is being pulled, another one is being shortened. And what you need to do is relax the muscle that's being shortened and that will relieve the tension of the other muscle being lengthened. So let's get to it. So here's a picture of your upper leg muscles, and here is a picture of your side of your leg. And the last picture I have is front and back. So there's a lot of muscles involved in this area. So here we have Madam Muscle sitting. And you can see that the front of her legs and the stomach area are shortened. So what does that do to the rest of the body? So I have turned Madam Muscle over and you can see what happens to the back muscles. They are all pulled from your thoracic lumbar area, your mid back, all the way down to your knee area. So remember when I was talking about muscle fibers, when they get really tight, so these are shortened in your back, everything on your back, including your hamstrings, they attach into your calf area, they're all being pulled. So if they're being pulled, they tighten, remember? This is your muscle, here's your muscle fiber, and if it gets really tight, the blood and the nutrients can't get in. It restricts the muscle and you can't discharge the waste. So here I am sitting here that you can give a good view of. So all these muscles are being pulled. This is where foam rolling comes in. So in the next step, we're going to do our foam rolling. So we need to release the tension that's going on in the front of the leg so the, the back of the leg, the muscle can stop being pulled so tight and causing that lower back problem and the issues that you have with your hamstrings, the back of your legs. Remember, they all start in your calf area and they go all the way up to your pelvic. So when you're rolling, foam rolling your quadriceps, it's a good idea to start off with your calves first, then go on to your quadriceps. Now I'm going to use three different objects today to give you a variety. A handheld, I'm going to use a tennis ball, you can even use a rolling pin, and I'm going to use the large roller. So to start off, you want to move one leg position. I'll show you on this one. You want to lean down and you want to make sure this leg is always there so you can support and your arms here. Now if you find that too difficult, you can literally put a couple of pillows underneath. Now we're going to break the leg up into two areas. So we're going to roll just above the knee because we never do the knee or behind the knee. We're going to start just above the knee. We're going to go halfway up. And then from halfway up, we're going to go up to the top part into your pelvic area. Now, the one thing I have learned over the years, if it's more painful from the first half of your thigh, um, there's a good chance that most of your issues are being caused by your calf and your feet. And if it's above, then it's everything above, your lower back, your shoulder area, your neck area. Some people have both. So you get on it, you roll, you can just put it here. We're gonna go halfway up and you wanna get that spot. Remember one inch to 2.5 centimeters per second you wanna roll. Once you find a tender spot, 
which is a trigger spot. You just want to lay there. You can go side to side, which is sort of called mashing. Just move it very gently up and down, but you want to hold it for in that area for at least 30 to 60 seconds. You want to break up that trigger point rolling really quickly. It won't catch the trigger point and it won't last very long. So once you find the spot and then after you've done the 30 to 60 seconds, you want to stretch it out with your foot up and down, up, and down, and then you want to continue on to the next spot. You might have several, or you might only have a few. It all depends. So now we're going to take the upper leg. I'm just going to move these pillows so you can actually see. And we're going to start rolling the upper leg. So let's start up here. Get a better view. So halfway up. And we want to get to the spot very slowly. And once you find that spot, again, you want to relax in it. You want to wiggle a little side to side. Hold it for 30 to 60 seconds. Again, bend your leg up and bend your leg down. Once you've done that, you can continue up. And there is a muscle here called the psoas. And it's a tricky little guy. It starts in the back of your lumbar, hooks in, goes to the front, and hooks in down into your leg muscle. I mean uh, bone, your leg bone. So if that's being pulled, or if that's shortened from sitting too much, then it definitely tends to be an issue. So I re recommend that you foam roll that, and it's a very small area. So you just back and forth, you lean again, your leg, as I have my leg here, this way, right? And away you go. Now, the tennis ball, you can do the exact same thing with the tennis ball. Just watch yourself and remember, just above the knee, you want to roll it nice and slow. And you don't want to put too much weight on it. That's why your leg is up on the side. And you do the exact same thing that you did with the roller. You hold it for 30 to 60 seconds. You roll half the leg first and then the second part second. Go back and forth. Now, if you find this too tiring, take a break. Do the second part a little later. So once you do that, you go to the second part and there, you're all done. Doesn't take a lot of time, but remember, it's always a wise idea to roll your calves first. Now this we can do in a variety of ways. You can do it just above my knee, laying down, or remember we always start at the bottom part and work our way up to the heart. You can actually put your legs out and you can start here. So when you're using the rolling pin, once you find a trigger spot, kind of lean back and forth and back and forth, hold it for 30 and 60 seconds and continue rolling. Then you want to roll back to the spot again, back to just above your knee because we're breaking it in two spots and back up again and back down again. Now, to get that psoas muscle, you can actually lean in like this and bring it down here. So you can put your head down and just kind of lean in this area, very slowly up and down. Again, when you find a spot, kind of wiggle back and forth, hold it for 30 to 60 seconds, and that's it. Basically, that's the foam rolling of the quadricep and the psoas muscle. Now, my next video is to deal with hamstrings and your piriformis, which is sitting underneath your big glute muscles, so your butt muscles. In saying all that, the piriformis 
if that's bothering you, quite often it means that your glute muscles aren't working properly. So you need to do some exercise in regards to get those working. But that will be our next video. Until then, thank you and stay safe. Bye.